What's up, everyone? It's Drew from Incredible Marketing here at the IM3 booth. I am joined by Dr. Howland. How are you? Hey, Drew. Doing Thanks well. for joining us. How are you enjoying the show so far? It's good. This is uh, probably the fifth time I've been to the show. Okay, awesome. So tell me about yourself and what you're looking forward to. You're going to open a practice soon? Yes. Yeah, so I've been coming all throughout residency. Uh, this is the last sixth year of my residency. I'm down in Galveston at University of Texas. Okay. Um, I have about two months left, and then I'm moving back home to Utah, which is where I'm from, and I'll be joining a group of three guys called uh, Premier Plastic Surgery. Sweet. Um, I'll be the fourth guy in the group, and uh, looking forward to it. The group is located in Draper, Utah, just a little bit south of Salt Lake. Okay, cool. Good stuff. So anything you learn during this show that you're looking forward to eventually bringing to your patients? Uh, yeah. I, mean, I just got out of a session on abdominoplasty and saw a lot of new abdominoplasty techniques. I think a lot of the experts are refining the techniques and really getting uh these patients to look how they want to look afterwards. Sure. Cool. What about uh, kind of the non-invasive, minimally invasive surgery devices, those kind of things around here? Um, I've, I've seen a lot of them. There's always kind of new gadgets around here which are interesting um, and I use a, a little bit of that. I uh, would do a minimally invasive brow lift. Okay. Um, I also have been trained to do some minimally invasive breast augmentations through a uh, an, through a, uh, an incision in your armpit. Okay. Um, it's called a transaxillary breast dog. But. Cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. So is your practice that you're going to start, is that going to be more, more surgical than non-invasive or a combination of the uh, two? Probably a combination of the two. More surgical than not. Uh, we have a really uh, nice med spa as well that we send our patients to for all the non-surgical uh, injectables. We have cool sculpting. We have all the bells and whistles of a really fun, nice med spa. Cool. Sounds good. Awesome. Let's jump into some fun, fast okay. kind of Rapid fire questions and get to learn a little more about you, Dr. Holland. Okay, what's your favorite color? Blue. Favorite sports team? Uh, Denver Broncos. Ooh, favorite sport? Favorite sport? Uh, favorite sport to watch, uh, nerdly enough, golf. Nice. Favorite golfer? Uh, Tiger Woods for years. Uh, still watched Phil a little bit um, and cheer for him, but I'm hoping Tiger resurges. Nice. Me too. How did you become a Denver Broncos fan? Uh, so you grow up in Utah, and Denver's the closest. Gotcha. So a lot of people are Broncos fans, or people are 49ers fans because Steve Young is in Utah Bring and he played at BYU. That's true. I went to University of Utah, so um, a heated rival of BYU, so yeah. I went with the Denver route. Gotcha. Cool. Um, any advice you would give to a previous boss? Uh, keep doing what you're doing, Dr. Linda Phillips, chairwoman nice. down at UTMB. She does a great job. Awesome. What was the last thing you watched on TV? 13 Reasons Why. <laughs> oh my gosh, on Netflix? Yes. I heard that is so good. I haven't started it, it is, yet. It is incredible. I know it's got a lot of controversy surrounding it, um, but I think that they did a really good job of starting a discussion that is uncomfortable. Sure, sure. That's exactly what I've heard. So I've watched, it's next on the list. I just got done watching The OA and I watched Stranger, Stranger Things before that. Did you watch the other of those? Stranger Things is awesome. The OA... I got a few episodes in and it kind of it kind of lost me. Okay, you got to keep going with that. It does start okay. it does start slow. I, I encourage okay. you to get back to it. Cool. What were you like in high school? Uh, what was I like? Yeah. Um, just probably the same nerd I am now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I uh, went to a school very close to where I'm going home to practice. Uh, it's called Murray High School. Um, tried to stay involved. My mom always said we didn't have to work as long as we had and and at school activities so sure. I tried to stay involved in like student body nice. councils it's and nice extracurricular deal. stuff yeah. yeah I wrestled in high school cool um, was always the tall lanky kid that everybody loved to see coming at him because they knew it was an easy <laughs> win for them <laughs> Is that a thing? I thought I thought tall lanky you got some more leverage. Isn't that an it's, advantage kind of? Supposedly, or? but the short stocky <laughs> guys always worked me over. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, what's one thing your patients don't know about you? Uh, I do the New York Times crossword puzzle every night. Really? Nice. I'm super snobby about the crossword puzzle. Okay. I've, I've tried to do, my mother's a big crossword puzzle person. I've tried to do the crossword puzzle, and for some reason, I just can't get it. You're, you're a lot smarter than I am. Practice. No, no, no. <laughs> just practice. Uh, why, why do you want to get into, pla or why, yeah, why are you in plastic surgery? Uh, plastic surgery, I always knew I wanted to go into surgery. Um, and I remember following around some different uh, surgeons, an orthopedic surgeon. I followed a guy around who does uh, weight loss surgery, does bariatric surgery. And I just, it, after seeing the same procedure that these guys did, it kind of 
lost interest for me. And plastic surgery was the first area within surgery that I found where every single case is completely unique and different. Right. Like I could do a day of, of nothing but breast augmentations, but each one is so totally different and unique that uh, that's, what, that's what drew me here. Okay, last question. If an owl walks into this room wearing a sombrero, okay. what does he say? Uh, Yokiero who? <laughs> That's actually really good. I like it. Perfect. All right, doctor. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate right. it. Have a good rest of your show. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it.